Situated in central Poland, Łódzki Wojewódship is a region extremely attractive to tourists. Well-developed tourist infrastructure, attractive nature, and rich cultural heritage facilitate diverse types of active leisure. What distinguishes the Łódź region nationally and in Europe is the longest horseback riding trail, more than 1,800 kilometers long, connecting 200 horseback riding centers. It consists of two loops, the internal loop encircling Łódź and its suburbs, and the external loop, bordering as many as six voivodeships, thus creating a perfect setting for adventurers from all over Poland. The Łódź Horseback Riding Trail offers more than 1,000 unique tourist attractions. The most interesting ones are the Palace and Park Complex in Nieborów, with its romantic park in Arcadia, the Arch Collegiate Church in Tum, St. Ursula's Church in Stroinsko, and St. Giles Church in Inowódz, and the Cistercian Monastery in Sulejów pod Klastorze. Other places near the trail worth seeing are the 14th century King Casimir the Great's Castle in Wenchitza, the Sulejowski Reservoir, a nearby bison breeding center, Konefka, and Jelen, with their biggest in Poland, 300-meter bunkers dating back to the Second World War, or the beautiful open-air ethnographic museum in Małżyca. The Łódź Horseback Riding Trail makes it possible to combine different types of active leisure. One may change from horseback to a kayak and go a few kilometers down the Warta River or the Pilica River. All year round, there are many interesting events organized along the trail, such as the European Amber Festival in Konopnica, historical reconstructions of battles from September 1939 in the Open Air Museum of the Pilica River, or the Presidential Harvest Festival in Spawa. There are three big horseback riding centers on the trail with long, rich history. The stud farms in Valovice and Gajewniki and the Stallion Depot in Bogusławice. They organize many horseback riding competitions and other interesting events. Many people think that horseback riding tourism is an expensive sport. This is not true. Thanks to a dense network of horseback riding centers, one may rent a horse almost everywhere along the trail and spend a few wonderful hours in the saddle. The designers of the trail took into consideration the needs of people with different horseback riding skills. It is suitable for both beginners and expert riders and a large number of training centers make it possible for those who decided to saddle up their horse for the first time to start their adventure with horseback riding tourism. The trail is thoroughly marked. An orange circle against the background of a white square is the basic symbol supplemented with information and warning signs. One may plan their route at home through a special four-language website and then easily transfer the route into their GPS navigation system. The website will be a comprehensive database for the Wooj Horseback Riding Trail. While on the trail, one may borrow audio guides, which automatically play messages the moment the tourist approaches the biggest attractions of the trail. Safety for the riders is a very important aspect of the project. They will be equipped with portable GPS navigation units with maps of the routes, which is particularly important in the forest. Specially designed crossings will secure safety in places where the trail meets busy regional and national roads. Safe infrastructure combined with the landscape, nature and culture make the Wuj Horseback Riding Trail a supra-regional tourist product of the European renown.